Hi everyone, hi YouTube, hi Facebook. I'm coming to you to talk about love and fear today and what's driving your life and where you can set yourself free to going if you just switch your mindset a little bit. And bear with me because I'm going to give you good examples, but I want you to understand the basics. Now, I have my board out today, and you don't see me with this often. Well, you do see me when I'm doing webinars, and you do see me like this when I'm making new courses. So this means, means new courses is coming. Very on the emotional side also at this time, because 2019, I mean, let's be real. It's a rough ride for a lot of people. So. I want to talk to you about love and fear. Now, why do I want to talk to you about love and fear? They are the opposites, you know, obviously. It's like your dream come through and it's your worst nightmare at the other end. But the thing is this, did you know that probably 90% of everybody is fear driven? Basically fear driven. And you know what that means? It means that every decision you make comes from fear means that every thought you have ultimately comes from fear. And let me explain. Fear doesn't necessarily mean that you're afraid of something that you know that you're afraid of. Now that would make it ridiculously easy, right? You'll be able to arrest yourself and to say, oh, I'm afraid of this. No, I ain't. And you, you change something. But the thing is, it's a subconscious. And it doesn't even feel like fear, right? Now, when you're operating from fear, you're operating from victimhood. When you're operating from love, this is the heart. It's open, it's inviting, it's saying, come on in, all good vibes. I'm on that same frequency. Fear is like, it's contraction. It's stagnant. It's congestion. It's what we call illness, it's depression, it's negativity, it's hurt, it's, it's, it's you want to hurt someone else, it's revenge, it's complaint, you know, it's all of that. It's like in this big pot right here, and then in this part right here, you have everything good. Or what we perceive as, <laughs> see, you have the good and bad again, but I'm not looking at it as good and bad, I'm looking at it as manifestingly towards what you want, abundance, and getting closer to nature where everything is abundant. And in that, that love category, which is the heart, you have gratitude, gratefulness, appreciation. You have all of those so-called good words, but they're all the red words, right? And then all the black words are everything that comes from fear, anger, jealousy, even comparing to others. You won't believe within my coaching what I experience of similarities between people when it comes to the mindset and the emotional imprints and the old programming that we are run by, all fear-based. Now, what does this do with the rest of our life? Because we're living this, as this is the inside driver of you. So you're driving with all of these, you know, all of these things in your life, you're driving with either, either love or fear. And by the way, fear comes from the brain. It doesn't come from the heart. The heart has a love frequency, very much like the fruits, the high frequency fruits. That's also a love frequency. That's why people feel so freaking much better on fruits, on living food, because they're connecting to that energy. They're making it a part of their entire being, not only the physical, but the emotional and mental and spiritual being as well. Now, we're talking relationships. We're talking your peace, meaning are you at peace with yourself and your world? We're talking about happiness, which everybody's seeking. That's what we're seeking is happiness. Growth, if you don't grow, you don't flow. And life's stagnant and you're miserable, believe me. Your career, your health, and whatever means something to you, all driven by either love or fear. Now, isn't that interesting? And how simple is it? So what does it look like? Like, what does it look like when a relationship is driven by fear, for example? Well, 
It's a co-dependent relationship, most often. It is a relationship where you feel you need to contribute a certain thing to be worthy of love. It is where you have no boundaries, maybe you're being emotionally abused and you don't even know it. Most people don't even know this. I didn't know it. I had no idea what was going on in my own life. Coaching so many have helped me to really see the larger perspective of these topics. They're so important. It's all about this emotion and mindset. Yes, let's go to the health. Of course, it's about diet. That would be kind of, it's, we're past that. Like I said, it's 219, we know it's about diet. What the heck, how could it not be about diet? It's what you're putting in your machinery, but there's so much more to it than that because it will trigger all the crap to come up. Now, if you're looking at your health from a love perspective, you will have no trouble changing your diet for the better almost overnight. You'll be like, oh, can I do this and this is better for me? Give it. But if there's resistance, then it's the brain, it's the fear that comes in and, 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 the, and, the, and the thoughts that have been implanted in you could be generations, could be lifetimes telling you that there's something to fear. What do you fear? You can fear change. You can fear losing your friends because you're different. You can fear pain that is going to be painful. And by the way, pain is not what it seems. That it's going to be painful. Uh, you can fear that you're going to be different. Oh, I said that. Um, you can fear that you're going to have to look yourself in the mirror and see just you. Because everything gets stripped down when you go to a raw fruit, high fruit, or just vegetable fruit, or raw fruit in general, or whole food diet. The frequency that you will raise to will easily or more easily make you aware of where you're operating from. Now, how hard do you think it's going to be to, to manifest peace within yourself if you're operating from fear? It's an impossibility by nature. It's a contradiction. Now, same with happiness. How does happiness ever go together with fear? And that's why this is so important. I, I actually always knew this when I was going through my own health. When, you know, I was really sick. I was bedridden for many years. You probably know this. I was diagnosed with severe intuitive arthritis. I couldn't move, I couldn't bend my knees, I couldn't bend my elbows, I couldn't lift my hand, I couldn't type, I couldn't write, I couldn't walk to the bathroom. It lasted for years. And I got really bad when I stopped all the medications. I had Lyme disease, ulcers. It was terrible, but somewhere within me, I was, you know, I was always guided. I was always guided by spirit. But somewhere within me, I always knew that it was happiness first and then health. I always knew that you need to have a prosperous outlook in life and a mind before you experience this in this world. And this is the same thing. We're thinking we can operate from fear and then experience love or experience bliss or experience having an authentic life. It just doesn't work like that. You have to switch it around, go to your heart, Find your peace and trust and work from there. There are several exercises that you can do. One that I highly recommend starting with is my cutting the cord exercise, or I say mine. It's not really mine. A lot of people use this and you'll find a lot of videos. I have a video on my YouTube channel. It's called cutting the cord and it's so, so powerful to start releasing codependency and fear. Because so many of us, we're just living from the outside in instead of the inside out. We're just not taking responsibility and we're letting what people think control us. Even better, we're letting what we think people think control us, which they never could. So they are not controlling you. I have people tell me all the time, they did this, they did that, they took that away from me, they are controlling me. 
No one can do that. Only you can give away that power into the fear. When you're standing in love, looking at your relationship, you know your responsibility. You know that you have everything you need. And when you choose to be with someone else, it's for joint exploration. It's to grow together and have fun and share love. It's not to be dependent or to try to fix anyone. And it's the same with health. When you go into changing your diet and changing your mindset and changing a lot of, it's also about a lot of routines. I mean, I'm not just teaching change your diet and then you're healthy. There are rituals. There are, we need to build, you know, you need to be diligent. You need to be persistent. We're talking discipline, but we're talking accommodating what you want, walking towards what you want. You're never going to get it if you're walking it because you're fearful, meaning you can override that. So I can kind of, I take it back a little bit because People come to me very fearful and three months later, they're not so fearful. So no matter where you start, you can always start. No matter what your mindset is, if you're like sheer shitless right now and you're really not feeling the health, you don't know where to start, you can just start. And everything else will come as you grow. Same thing with relationships. You can start by just setting some boundaries, get a good coach, get a good counselor, get help, reach out, get support in this day and age with social media and everything out there, I mean, nobody should ever need to be alone. And you are never alone. Not in any of this. We're talking about this is like a wildfire that goes around the world right now. Everybody is struggling with some of this. So, my message was this, to get out of the mind, into the heart, out of fear, into love, and operating from that space and take yourself out of the drama and that means become an observer more often what other people think of you none of your darn business stop caring as much and don't give a shit as much because so much of what you care about it's bullshit and a lot of what you tell yourself is bullshit positive message it's meant to be <laughs> so when you keep growing you keep flowing and let me tell you when you're fearless life becomes limitless and I need to let you go I'm kind of watching my hour because I'm going live in the membership group so if you're not yet a member make sure you go to inspiredbyhilda.com and click on membership join I mean it's only $29 a month you get all my programs all my little courses, all the videos, you get support, we do fun stuff, we heal, we heal. So if you want to heal, you're ready to step up, do that. And I'll see you on the inside. Namaste and thank you for watching.